In this short video, you will learn how to use the List Translations API endpoint. Translation keys act as placeholders inside the application source code. It can be any application – website, mobile app, game, desktop app, and so on. When the application is served to the user, translation keys are replaced with the corresponding translation values based on the user's preferred locale. The List Translations endpoint enables you to fetch the text from any given project. Please note that the return translations won't be grouped by the key name or ID. Therefore, you might also be interested in the List Keys endpoint. So, to get started, let's proceed to the Localized Developer Hub. Navigate to Localize API Playground and open Translations. List all translations. Start by pasting your API token into the corresponding field. Next, provide your localized project ID to fetch translations from. Tick the Disable References if you would like to display all key references as a plain text. Learn more about referencing in our documentation. Adjust the Filter Lang ID option to fetch translations for the specific language only. By default, translations for all languages will be fetched. If you're not sure what language IDs your project contains, proceed to the Languages, List Project Languages Endpoint. Enter the project ID and click Try It. You will get all languages' names along with their IDs. Next, choose what translations to include in the response – reviewed, unverified, or untranslated. On top of that, you can fetch only the translations that have certain quality assurance issues. Quality assurance is set on a per-project basis. There are various checks available, for example, spelling and grammar, missing placeholders, inconsistent HTML markup, and so on. Learn more about QA checks in our documentation. Adjust the Filter Active Task ID option to fetch only translations that were added to a task on Localize. To view the active task IDs, proceed to Tasks, List All Tasks, enter your project ID, and set the Filter Statuses option to In Progress. The response will contain task names and IDs. Finally, adjust the pagination parameters by providing the limit and page values. You can request up to 5,000 translations per page. Once you are ready, click the Try It button. Here's our response. Here we can see the translation ID, the key ID it belongs to, its creation date, language ISO code, translation value, and other attributes. You can also view the response headers by clicking on the corresponding button or you can replay the same request. That's it! Great job!